my first year canning and that was just what I was thinking in my brain. Do you have some square jars in here? I think that's pretty cool. Mom, if you're watching, you need this. Wait for it. Be like beauty guru. Everybody in the comments say hi to my mother. This is actually a canning jar. My can, my canning stuff I can. Anybody have corn cobs out there they want to send me? Hey. Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome to my closet. Yeah, that was bad. I'm sorry, I can't sing. I know. I'm in my closet because this is where I keep my canning jars. And I wanted to show you the canning jars that I just recently got because I inherited some canning jars and I'm excited about this. I'm very excited. They're here. They're in this cooler here that I can't pick up. See, cooler? I can't pick the cooler up. It's too heavy. I had to drag it into the closet. It was in the kitchen and I was tripping over it for two days. So I thought, I really want to make a video about this. I really need to do this. So I quit tripping over this case. Cooler, cooler, not case, cooler. But we inherited my husband's mother's canning jars. She passed away a few years ago. And I was talking to my father-in-law and I said, I, I'm, I'm running low on jars and they're hard to come by. And he said, wait, I have some. So he started digging through his, his canning jars and gave me an entire cooler full of canning jars. So how special is that? My husband helps me can too. We can together. It's just safer that way. How nice it is that we're gonna get to can with his mother's jars. I think that is very, I think that's special. I, I just think it's special. We're gonna go through these jars, some of them, not all of them. I'm gonna show you what I got and how to inspect these jars because since they're older and they've been sitting around, you do need to inspect the jars. Actually, you should inspect your jars before you can. That, that's something that you should do. Jar number one. A, a lot of them, in fact, all of them have rings. See the ring? I'm going to take this ring off and probably not use this ring. I might save them in case I ever run out of rings and I can't buy them now, I'm going to put new rings on and lids when I when I do can. But I just thought this was so special. And I do have some square jars in here. I think that's pretty cool. But we're going to wash them, inspect them. And if there's any cracks in any of these jars, I'm not going to use them for pressure canning or canning at all. I might put my dehydrated things in here. It depends on how bad the crack is if I decide to use it or not. But I'll be inspecting every one of these jars. Let's see, here's my square one. There's a few square. Square masons, can you can see that? I'm be like beauty guru. Ah. <laughs> but there's a square one. It's easier to store a square jar. I think it would be easier with the room and everything, but the canner is round, so it, it, I think that canning, maybe they thought it was easier to can in round jars rather than the square jars. I don't know. This is my first year canning and that was just what I was thinking in my brain. So I told you. This is full of, it's full. Here, let me bring you over. This is full of canning jars that I'm going to go through and inspect. And it's the exact size I needed. It, I, it, this is the exact size I needed. Then I got another box of canning jars. I'm going to put these back in here. I'm going to put them in my dishwasher and wash them, sterilize them, inspect them really, really good for any cracks or because you never know if you had a spoon in here and, you know, hit it, it something, something might have happened. But I'm going to, I'm going to expect, inspect all of these. There's a few in here that are wide mouth. I have a few wide mouth ones, but yeah, how cool is this? It excites me to be able to can with my husband's mother's jars. Okay, then I was at a garage sale this summer and I asked the man, I said, do you have any canning jars? You know, we were just walking around and doing the thing there. And he said, yeah, by chance, I do have canning jars. I'm like, oh. So he brought me out this jar, this box. See the box? These are actually 1976 eight mason jars from Anchor Hawking. And they're all dated 1976. And he bought them in 1976. 
and he has never ever used any of them. I don't, they have 1976 on the label there. I, too bad you can't. I hope you could see that. I don't know if you can or not. But there's a bell, and it says 1976 Mason. He's never used these jars. His he was saving them because he thought someday they would be like a collector's item, and he said they weren't a collector's item. So he sold them to me, and I got all of these for five dollars which I thought was really cool that was my good garage sale find of the year we didn't get to do very many garage sales this year because of you know everything that's going around so then over here I bought recently I, I bought these small jars so I have these and I've been putting my dehydrated stuff in here this is the celery that I made and I have actually, here's my dehydrated corn. I'm going to make a few more jars of this only because, well, one, I'll probably use them. But, but, wait, wait, wait for it. I made corn cob jelly. And one jar is already gone. This is the second jar that we're probably going to open very soon because this is really good. If you've never made corn cob jelly, try it. It's so easy. I have a video about the corn cob jelly. Watch the video. How I made it. I, d I did it. I did it. This was my first jelly I've ever made in my life. And it sounds gross, but it's really good. It is really good. I promise you, you will like it. So don't throw your corn cobs away. Save them. Make jelly out of them. Or, or give your corn cobs to me so I can make more jelly. So then I have this box here of supplies which I thought about putting putting them in a cute basket but this box works it works just great this was another garage sale find this year I bought this for like a dollar dollar and then I didn't have a big ladle I have a smaller one but I, did, I, I got a bigger one for 50 cents I bought another one of these at a garage sale because I have one when you can have two right right okay and then I have this I bought a kit I'm not really sure. I think this is to help me open jars, I think. I have my husband to do that, though, so, yeah. Maybe I should give this to my mother. Look, it, it would, I bet you a water bottle. My mom has trouble opening water bottles. She might need one of these, because I think that would work. Mom, if you're watching, you need this. She's watching. I know she's watching. Hi, Mom. Everybody in the comments, say hi to my mother. We all call her Grammy, so if you want to say hi to Grammy in the comments, that would be fun. She would like that. She just learned recently where the comments were. Yeah. Alright, so then I've been picking up lids as I go out places. Lids, rings, whatever I can get my hands on, because here in the U.S., it's, they're hard to find. I had a terrible time finding my canning, my canner, my actual canner. So, yeah, it's hard. Then I bought, because we all know the problem that we had in the garden this year. I didn't label anything. I bought labels. I did buy labels. And these are supposed to be the wash-off kind. I'm labeling, look. Look, I'm labeling. The, it says corn cob jelly right, oop, right there. You can see it. So I'm labeling. So I'm, let me put these back in this bag. Now, I have another, another trick for you. If you can't find any canning jars, if there's none in your area, go buy this. Classico, Classico sauce is actually in a canning jar. And it says Atlas Mason on the side of it. And the measurements here, just like the canning jar, this is actually a canning jar. And I bought some of these yesterday. You, I mean, you eat the spaghetti sauce, but I paid $2 for this. It came with the canning jar and the sauce inside. So, I don't know if many people know that, but this is a canning jar. You can use this to can. And then I have the bigger jars down here. And this is where I'm going to keep all of my, my canning, my can, my canning stuff I can. Because we don't have a basement or another room in this house that I could use to do that. So if I keep them low to the floor, because you know, we don't have a basement, so it's sitting on the floor. And then I'm going to get another rack here, because you cannot stack your canning jars on top of each other. I'm going to get another, like a shelf, the plastic wire things that, you know, you know what I'm talking about, that 
fit together so I can double up here but but don't ever stack don't ever stack your canning jars you should never do that I'm learning you see I'm learning but there's my corn I, I, there's my corn me Peggy and Rob did the corn go watch that video that was fun part one and part two always fun always fun but we had a good time but there's all my things all the things corn cobs anybody have corn cobs out there they want to send me hey I'm gonna make some more jelly I want to make more jelly need more corn cobs all right what is behind me that this was behind me I do have another box of jars that I'll be doing tomatoes in and probably some hot peppers I'm gonna do hot peppers and oil I wanted to do them in this size jar, but we seem to be eating them too fast. So I'm going to do peppers and oil in a big jar. I also tried some peppers and vinegar at my father-in-law's house, and that was really good. So I might make some of that too. I mean, that was really, really good. So anyway, there you go. All my old stuff, all my new stuff. If you like my video, consider subscribing. I'd like to have you around. We're going to can. I dehydrate. My husband does crazy things in the, he has a garage. We call it Walmart. And there's so much stuff in there that you would be amazed. And my husband can pretty much do anything. And he's got a few videos out and a few videos coming on how to do things in the garage. So if you're a man or a woman that wants to learn things that, you know, might be in the Walmart, uh yeah stick around he welds he, he does all the things he can do all the things all the things i am so lucky to have him all right i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>